Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Psycho Gold. This is Psycho Gold Videos and today we're gonna to do a very quick reaction video to the latest video from Carlin Ramen Studios and they have put out a little Power Ranger video. Uh, we did react to the last thing they did which was the Lupin Ranger fight scene. I think that had a whopping 76 views so clearly I'm making the content that people want to watch. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face but Either way, I don't care. I really like these guys. I want to support them. So this one is a pure Power Ranger video. It's not something a bit more experimental. So yeah, this is the Red Mighty Morphin suit. I've already seen the suit because it's in the thumbnail. But uh, this is episode one of what I believe is going to be a fan series. Now, they've said they're going to do episodes for the other Rangers specifically. And then I don't know if that's going to lead into like an actual short or series which actually has all five of them i don't know i know that they were originally involved with power rangers unworthy but obviously they went their separate ways the unworthy has their own team now and i think the people that helped them make episode two aren't actually helping them make episode three i think there's a lot of different people that have been involved with all of these different fan films and i know that there are tons of good ranger fan films that are on the works and there's a couple that i haven't reacted to yet that i'm going to be reacting to in the future so First Ninja and the Jamingers, and there's another one that I can't remember the name of, but they're all really big fan films that lots of people seem to talk about, and I haven't actually checked them out, so I thought, why not? But we're going to check out this one first. It came out today, uh, a bit earlier today, but I've been out all day, so this is when we're going to check it out now. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay, we're going straight in. Did that actually break, or was that just good virtual effects? In which case, nice work. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the guy dressed in red is gonna be the Red Ranger. Just, just a thought. Hey, he's fighting someone from Naruto. <laughs> okay. Uh, he literally is fighting someone from Naruto. Or he's fighting uh, one of the ninja series rangers because they have had ninjas on this on the show before. Damn, the choreography and the camera work is on point. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. Oh, okay. No sequence, just going straight into it. Fair enough. The suit, there's something about the suit that doesn't look quite right. But I'm not sure what it is. Though the colour of the helmet and the colour of the suit aren't the same. They're different shades of red. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're quite different shades of red actually. Oh, power sword, nice! Okay. Do you really want to ask that question? <laughs> His sword looks odd. Oh, I like the growth effect. That's pretty much exactly what they did on the show. <laughs> oh, and they, yeah, exactly. That could literally be taken from the show. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, didn't expect to see a T-Rex. One down, four to go. Thanks for oh, okay. Everybody. Special thanks to Kim Gassiel for voicing Rita in this episode. Hey, did you know that we have a panel this year at New York Comic Con? It's gonna be on Friday at I did not. PM. I won't be there, but that's cool. The panel will be about how to film action choreography with cosplay in mind. If you want to know how to do this yourself, or you just want to say hi to us, stop by the panel. Before you go, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of the next upload. So, who's the next ranger? See you soon. Yay! Yellow ranger! Saber to tiger power. So, that was that. Like I said, short but sweet. Uh, if you didn't know, 
because I didn't do a reaction to it because I didn't think it was worth it. Um, there was an even shorter video that they did a while back with the Black Ranger, and that was actually pretty cool as well because if you are a Tokusatsu fan, which Power Rangers definitely falls into the umbrella of, then there were so many references that you would be able to get from that. They, they basically redid the transformation sequence as a nod to Kuga, whilst also having a nod to Power Slash Rangers, the Adi Shankar, uh, shall we say, adult-orientated version of what Power Rangers could look like. Which, because some people don't seem to know this, is a satirical take on how anything can be made dark and gritty. It's not actually anything special to take a franchise that wasn't known for being dark and gritty and making it dark and gritty like that was the whole point of that little short which a lot of people don't seem to know or understand is they didn't think that this would be the version of power rangers that would ever get made they made it specifically as a sort of statement to hollywood that making everything dark and gritty and violent and drugs and sex and gore it isn't actually clever you can take the most over the top kid friendly rainbow colored show on the planet and make it dark gritty in fact, probably darker and grittier than a lot of what was going on at the time, and it doesn't actually take much effort. The skill is taking a franchise like Power Rangers that is kind of known, at least in the mainstream audiences, for being so only for kids, and transitioning that into a place where it can sit alongside things like Transformers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, to a lesser degree G.I. Joe, but Marvel films, you know, all, all of those franchises at one point or another were thought of as, well, that's only for kids, why do you like it? And as time's gone on, people have just changed their perceptions and the way that the films have made have got better, and they've changed what audiences they're going after. And that kind of needs to happen for Power Rangers, but that's a whole different rant. This video I thought was really good, the choreography was on point, the camera work was really, really sweet, which I come to expect of Kamen Ramen's stuff. Like I said, I've been following them for a very long time. I think I've actually followed some of the individuals that are on this channel before they were Kamen Ramen. Um, I definitely have seen Eric Nu- oh, I can never pronounce his name. Eric Nguyen, I'm gonna go with, and I'm really sorry, dude, if I just butchered your name. Um, I've seen him do stunt work back for Dardrex Productions and just appearing in random YouTube videos as, like, stunt work and stunt- uh, people to fight basically where they don't even get lines but uh, the fact that they're trying to branch out and do their own thing and they keep consistently putting out Ranger or Sentai stuff and they've got a lot of Kamen Rider love as well uh, definitely means that they're uh, an instant watch in my book. Like I said the only thing that was annoying me is something about the Red Ranger's suit didn't look right. I don't know if it was a little bit too loose or baggy in a couple of places. It, it seemed to fix itself as the fight went on. I don't know if maybe when they filmed some of the scenes it wasn't on quite right but or maybe that's just me but the suits and the helmet were definitely different colors i mean that that was not an official helmet uh by any stretch of the imagination it was a pretty good replica i mean it, it didn't have the buckles which in fairness i don't like it when they have the buckles so i'm happier when people take the buckles off i also love the uh the opponent that he was fighting the sort of ninja uh inspired enemy that he was up against i don't know if there's a backstory to that or if there's going to be more as the fan films goes on but uh yeah the the hand signals the fact that he you know he did the the shadow clones um that was all pretty cool i mean i'm using naruto terms but that's just purely because I, i've watched naruto not too long ago and um obviously they're all come from ninja uh, myths and legends and uh, some facts in some cases but the fact that they uh, managed to do the little hand symbol bit so meticulously and you notice I didn't even try. But I, I thought that was pretty cool and I could see an enemy like that actually fitting in really nicely. Um, most anime characteristics and characters can fit into a tokusatsu show real easy because I've always been of the opinion that they go hand in hand. It's just that one is an animation and one is live action. And the only reason why the tokusatsu stuff isn't as good as an anime, and I say that as someone who loves tokusatsu, it's, it's not, is the budget. There's lots of things that you can see they're doing because of how low budget the shows are, that if they had a bigger budget, you can see what they're trying to go for. And sometimes when they do the big films, especially in Japan, they do kind of nail it. Not every time, but some of the bigger films have them. I mean... If we, you know, Godzilla films, which I've started to watch more of, uh, thanks to your guys' recommendation, some of them nail it in certain aspects, other aspects they don't, but, you know, you can see why they've been around for so long and why they continue to be so popular.
Like, for example, in this short, when they did the effect at the end with the power sword, and they had it turn around and smash into the ground, or the fire went along. Obviously, that's not gonna be, like, a Marvel-level film, which I'm sure some people out there are expecting it to be, because they don't understand how budgets work, but considering how this was probably made for nothing, uh, I think that looked perfectly fine. My attitude is always, imagine what they could do if they were given a team of people and a budget, that they could take everything to the next level. They could do this basically for YouTube. What could they do if they actually had a budget and some time? And that's pretty much my whole attitude towards this genre as a whole. So yeah, I enjoyed it. I probably ranted a little bit too long and I'm very conscious of that, so I'm gonna end it here. But great work guys, cause I know you watch this channel, so I hope you enjoyed the thoughts on it afterwards as well. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, drop comments down below, and if you aren't that much of a fan, maybe still drop a comment as well and let me know why, I'd be interested to hear it. If you're new around here and you like this sort of stuff, then subscribe! And if you don't like this sort of stuff, well, subscribe anyway, because I mostly do anime, so you're fine. <laughs> Either way guys, my name is Psycho Gold, and I will see you in my next video. Psycho Gold, out!